Hi everyone, George here. And today I'll show you how you can add interactions so that users can use workflows defined in the app. This video will cover three types of actions that can be linked to a mouse click. The first is navigating to a view. The second is an open or close toggle. And the third is to show or hide components. Talking about the first type, navigating to a view is how single page apps work and it's implemented using the master and child views. The master view contains the app shell and a views container component that shows the content of child views. In other words, the shared components for your app are added to the master view and each child view contains content that's unique. In this example, we have three child views under a single master view. I've added an app bar, a navigation menu, and a views container component to the master view already. The views container has a property to define which child view to show when the app loads. Now, when you preview the app, you can see how the content from child view one is shown inside the views container area. Also, clicking on views two in the navigation shows content from child view two. We haven't added any interaction for navigating to child view three, so let's do that now. Select the nav item and add a click interaction, and then select the navigate to action from the list and pick view three. And that's it. When you preview, you can see that clicking on view three will show content from child view three. And that's how you navigate to a view using interaction. Now let's look at the open or close toggle action. Now this type of action is used to trigger components that have an open or close state, for example, dialogues. Now implementing the open close workflow consists of two parts. First, you need to add a component that's opened or closed like the dialog. And second, you need a UI component that users can click on to trigger this dialog. When you add a dialog component, it's added on top of your base app layout inside an overlay. The dialog comes with some preset types and I'm using a custom dialog here. The key difference is that for a custom dialog, you control everything inside it including the actions. The alert and confirmation dialog presets come with built-in actions that you can reconfigure. Now to explicitly close this dialog with an interaction, I'm adding a click interaction to the OK button and then selecting the open close toggle action. The list of available components on the right are pre-filtered to only show components that live inside an overlay. Here, I have one that's called dialog window I can rename this component in the outline to give it a much more meaningful name. To move on to the second part and finish this workflow, let's go up one level. And here in the app bar, I have a help icon button. And that's what we will use to trigger the open dialog. Now we'll add an interaction to this and select again, open close toggle action. And from the list of available components, select the about us dialog. Hit preview to try out this interaction. And as you can see, clicking the help icon button opens the dialog and clicking the OK button closes it. So moving on, let's look at the third and final type of action that lets you toggle the visibility of components based on a user interaction. So show or hide is similar to open close toggle action with one key difference. It's used to toggle the visibility of components that take part in the app layout or document flow. This also means that you can only change the visibility of components that already exist. So when a component is hidden and then shown, it pushes the other content around it to make room for itself. To show how to add this behavior, I've added a filtering toolbar example to the master view. In the document outline, you can see that we had three top level items, the app bar, the filter toolbar, and the views container. If I hide this toolbar in the outline view, you can see that the views container grows to occupy the available space. Let's leave it hidden and wire up an interaction to show the toolbar when the user clicks the filter button. I'm selecting the show hide action. And when you do this, you'll see two approaches to pick components. The dropdown identifies the component that's connected to this action or view other hidden components. The targeting option allows you to select a component that's currently visible. In our example, I'm going to pick the filter toolbar to toggle its visibility. Let's try this in the preview. And when the app loads as expected, the filter toolbar is hidden and clicking the filter button now reveals it. This ends the tutorial on how to add interactions to components. Check out the other videos to get up to speed on app builder. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get updates when we post new videos. See you soon.